have another <coughs> won't have another thing like we had yesterday. Anyway, I don't know. I think maybe I like uploading smaller videos. Um, I know if I'm watching, like I watch a couple welding channels on YouTube and uh, like PewDiePie and those guys like that. If they upload longer videos, I can usually sit through and watch them because they're entertaining. I don't find myself to be that entertaining. I don't have any aspirations of people wanting to sit and watch me jabber on for however long. But, uh, you know, maybe I break them up into smaller chunks based off of, I don't know, topic changes or whatever. No clue. Anyway, I'll just do what I do. I mean, it's my YouTube channel. It's kind of like, uh, you know, back in the day, uh, I would run around, and I was the guy that was always carrying the, the camcorder, I had a camcorder with me all the time, and a camera with me all the time, because I wanted to take pictures, and video, and just like to capture all that stuff, but then, you know, once you've got a mini DV tape, what are you going to do? Yeah, nobody has a mini DV pull-out, most people don't have a mini DV player at their house. So it's not like you can take your tapes over or, you know, easily play them at home. So you'd have to hook your camera up and, you know, it was really awkward and kind of a pain. So then I started taking those videos and putting them onto the computer and making DVDs. And then you've got, you know, potentially hours of footage. I'll use my trip to Brazil as an example. Back in 2004, myself and 12, 12 guys or so from our church and uh, another church in Spok the Spokane area went to Brazil. I took my camera with me, a uh, digital camera, a video camera, all that stuff. We had tons of people on there. Other people were <coughs> taking video as well. And uh, I came back, and I, oh, how many tapes did I have? I had a lot of tapes just recording everything. That, that's something that you're not going to be able to reproduce. You know, the, the things that you see and the places you go, the people you meet, you're not going to be able to reproduce those. So I was trying to capture as much of everything without... You know, I didn't want to live my whole trip behind the lens, but I wanted to be able to remember and share and things like that. So I came back, and uh, Mini DV, I don't know if it's changed or if people still use Mini DV tape or not, but back then, when I was using my first Mac, it was a uh, the dual mirror door desktop Mac, right? The dual... Um, G4 processor, 1.25 gigahertz, you know, yada, yada, yada. It's a pretty nice Mac. Um, but still, to bring in all that video, it was still, if it was a 10 minute video, it took 10 minutes to bring it in. So for every tape I had, I was sitting there, or the camera was sitting there, dumping it in there. And then I had to cut and edit it. <clears throat> Which parts did I want, and which parts did I not want, and there's some stuff that, you know, obviously, I was going to cut, most people don't want to sit there and look at all the different clouds, I liked the clouds, uh, especially when we were coming in and landing, because it was like a seven layer or more beam dip of atmosphere, right, You're coming through these, you know, and the clouds were different types at different levels, and you know, sometimes they're moving different directions. And I thought it looked cool. Um, anyway, so I cut some of that out. Or rainstorms. I'd never seen it rain anywhere like it rained uh, in Brazil. So it was just interesting to me, and it was kind of soothing, something I could play and listen to in the background, and you know, stuff like that. So I had to make some cuts and chop it up and make it fit onto a standard. DVD. Well, then along comes YouTube. <clears throat> and 
faster data connections and things like that. Now you can record videos and upload them in full, you know, as long as you want to take to upload your video, you could, you know, do raw, uncompressed HD footage, um, 1080p, you know, whatever you want. I think it'll, you can even do 5.1. If you can encode 5.1 audio, you can put it up onto YouTube, 3D video, whatever you want to do. And you can put it on YouTube, on your channel, you can make it private, unlisted or whatever. So it's like your private video library now of all your videos. And you can, I mean, you can download them later if you want, if you actually want to put them on a, on a DVD or, you know, if the platform changes or goes away or you don't like it anymore, you can download your, your MP4s if, or your videos if you don't want to. If, if you don't keep them around, I don't have enough space to keep all my videos around. And a lot of the stuff I do is kind of like disposable anyway. So I just, I delete it off my computer once I've uploaded it. And it's processed and everything. So it's cool. Now I can shoot all I want. And uh, sometimes to my wife's disappointment, upload it to YouTube and put it there. And she's the first one to tell me, you know, nobody wants to sit here and listen to this for that, or why would anybody want to watch that? It's like, I don't care. I want to go back and watch it, you know, or I could want to go back and watch it. You just, you never know. So, yeah, more yammering and jaw jacking. Oh, the best part of the work day. Get ready to take my nap at lunch. Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know if this camera's turning off after a certain amount of time or if I'm accidentally hitting the power button, but I was recording this morning and all of a sudden it just turned off and I realized it was off, so it'll be interesting to see how long I was talking before it turned off. Anyway, catch you all later. Officially over halfway home, day is over. Sarah said we're having hamburgers and freedom fries for dinner, so that's awesome. And uh, looking forward to that. This is the uh, hmm. it's the most exciting part of my day, actually, driving home um, after having been at work all day forward to getting home, seeing the family, sitting down relaxing, kind of a, a geek, so I do do a lot of stuff on the computer, I don't spend all my time on the computer, but uh, I like I like working on the computer, doing geeky type stuff, I've always been into video, uh, not so much audio, well audio a little bit, but mostly video on the computers, I really stuff. I remember today uh, that I've got a desktop at home that's not doing anything. Uh, it's an old Dell desktop. It's not super duper fast, but it's yeah, it's okay. It's no slouch. It runs pretty decent with Linux on it. Um, and my daughter, Shayna, likes to play Minecraft. And since right now the only laptop we have that works is my MacBook Pro, she asks, can I play Minecraft or, you know, do whatever she wants to do on the laptop? And sometimes I have to tell her, well, no, it's, it's rendering a video or compressing a video or uploading a video or whatever it might be, so she doesn't get to play on it very much. It makes it kind of slow when Sarah wants to use it too, so I'm thinking if I set this desktop up, put the VNC server on it, and I can VNC server into it, and uh, edit the video that way, or, you know, at least get it going, and then compress it and upload it from there, or, you know, whatever, even if I just edit the video on my Mac, drop it over there on, like, an NFS share, or something, and then uh, upload it from there, it'll free up 
free up the computer for everybody else to use it. I should get some more computers. I know Sarah would love it. I had a... Actually, I still have it. It's an old MacBook Pro that had a problem with the onboard graphics chip. There was a bad run of chips on them. I've got a video on here of, of it not posting. Uh, anyway, I found a guy in Spokane who... I think it's Internet Toolbox is the name of the company. Company, and they or he puts on has the ability to reflow those chips. He's got the rework station and everything. And he thought he had it, and it just it's still flaky. So it's probably something else on that motherboard that's freaking out. So I've got another one from the same series that was Sarah's old laptop. So I'm going to take that to him. And, pick up the other one to see if he can get this one working. If he can get that one working, that'll at least give us another laptop to use. And I've got laptops that run Linux. I've got one I compiled and installed the Chrome OS on. But nobody likes to use those out of my house. They want to, they like the Mac. They like the interface. Uh, even though the only thing they really do is YouTube videos, web-based games. Uh, Shannon plays Minecraft, but Anyway, so yeah, I'm going to go home and maybe see about setting up that machine tonight. See if I can get it going. I like using uh, open source tools if at all possible. Especially since I don't have a lot of uh, requirements for a video editor. I don't need to do fancy transitions or, you know, titles things like that. I just, I'm not making a Hollywood blockbuster. I'm just recording videos for YouTube for my enjoyment and you know, my family and whatnot. So they don't have to be perfect. Anyway, getting closer. I'm actually in Idaho now. Kind of keeping my eye on the skyline because uh, we're supposed to be getting some thunder and lightning. Plus it looks cool. It's very cool. Yeah. I don't know what it would be like to live someplace where it's flat driving to work all the time. Even though I am kind of driving through the valley area. There's mountains all over the place. I love it. It's awesome. Anyway, catch y'all later. the last little bit <clears throat> drive down the road to coming home and uh, we're going to see if the flag got out today I know Christian uh, had asked his mom and sister to put the flag out uh, yesterday and they never got around to it so we'll see if it's out today and, uh, Christian likes his uh, American flag nothing wrong with being patriotic neighbors got their flag. Hey, look, it's out. Sweet. America. Yes. All right. So we're going to go inside and see if dinner's ready. Too bad the camera can't pick up smells. Hey, there's the house that I want. Yeah, Mr. and Mrs. B live there now. It's a cool house. How far back there is she? Not that far. I was making sure that that dog wasn't going to be a problem. Because as soon as I saw her, it kind of stopped and perked up. She's coming up. On my nine here. On your nine?
love it when you talk all tactical. Her little ladies are tired, I can tell. Say sit rep. Sit rep. Ooh. Say something else. Calm spec. Calm spec. Say DDOJSIOC. Camden. And we're done. Kill it. America. Oh my God, yes. Told you he loves his flag. <laughs> <laughs> 